everybody, Norm over here, and I've got my uh, family members, my other nephews, you know, Joe Bonamasso, I, uh, you know, always say is my nephew. We're not blood relatives, but I've known him since he was a kid. Same thing with these guys here, too. I mean, these guys are family to me, and I love these guys. The Nelson Twins, these guys are incredibly good, one of the best harmony blends I've ever heard, and love their dad, who was like the original teenage idol, mm -hmm. you know, and Rick Nelson, and uh, come from a TV family, American, uh, part of the American fabric, like no other. And one of my favorite tunes was Hello, Mary Lou. Oh, great right? song, great song. And uh, so if we can get you guys to do a little of that, Love to. we can talk a little okay. bit more. Okay, I guess Gene Pitney wrote yeah. that one and didn't have a hit with it. Yeah. And Pop heard it and went, I think I could do that one. I think that was probably the first more cowbell song, if you think about it. There you go. Dun, 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 right? <laughs> and, and I, actually, I love you know, Gene Pitney, too. Gene that Pitney actually was, was one, credited by the Country uh, Hall of Fame. Actually, there's a display in there right now. And it's, uh, what's it called? Uh, Western Edge. Western Edge. It's all about the whole Southern California country movement that happened around the True Lake. Yeah. Well, your dad yeah. was almost like, if not the inventor of California rockabilly. Yeah. He was right there. Well, funny that you mentioned that, because Chris Hillman actually is quoted as saying the first country rock song, the first true country rock song was this song. Was Hello Mary Lou. He said Rick Nelson beat us years, he was years ahead. So that was kind of neat. And, and when he did Garden Party later on, which we'll play for you too, yeah. uh, that was kind of the connection. Hello Mary Lou was the very first kind of country rock song. And his hit Garden Party was kind of a seminal classic from that whole sound. And I remember Garden Party was, um, there was a period after Rick really had his initial run in the very beginning. Right. He was so popular. And then music had changed with well, the, Beatles the Beatles and, and all that. Yeah. You know, mm. And things became different. And, uh, you know, a lot of the artists from the 50s and early 60s uh, were sort of, you know, kind of, a second thought after that. And your dad did this tune, and there's a line in there that says, If memories were all I sang, I'd rather drive a truck. Yeah. And here we are singing Memories at Norman. We're going to have to suffer through this song on these absolutely horrible guitars. Right, because <laughs> I'm actually Sorry, playing, right. a, I'm playing Phil Everly's J200. This 1958. Is, how cool is this? And, uh, you know, this, this is the breakup guitar. This is really yep. old. It's 57 or something. Like that. Don't you have a new guitar? Yeah, I do actually have some. Yeah, okay, Would you rather know. play some new ones? Because yeah, we got those two, and they're right. actually very uh, good. Uh, but amazing. these are historical. Right. Amazing, amazing. And your family is historical. I don't want to date you guys. No, you don't guys worry. Are... He's classic rock. I dig Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right. There you go. All right. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Okay. Hello. Hello, Mary Lou. Hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye, heart. Sweet Mary Lou, I'm so in love with you.
guys kill. These guys kill. Can you do a little garden party? Sure, sure. Two, three, four, five.